Hey, Pipe Pals. Pipe Pound here coming at you from the lair. Uh, it's been a while since my last video. I haven't had a whole lot of uh, motivation to make videos or even watch them. I didn't feel like I had much to say. So, I'm going to try and revive my channel a little bit with uh, by reviving an old series I had called um, Media Minutes, where I talk about media that uh, has, I've been uh, focused on in the hopes of uh, sharing some sharing some of our favorites and finding some more um, getting to the bottom of this bowl it's uh, 1926 my notebook back in it I said before it's really similar to 1Q um, tonight, I'm not feeling it. Most of the time I think it is, but I don't know what it is tonight. Anyways, I got it. My Country Gentleman Cob. This is the first cob I bought. And uh, I've been smoking cobs like crazy lately. So, that's great. So, tonight's Media Minutes. Um, talking about graphic novels or comic books. Never really got into comic books as a kid. Uh, first time I really started getting into them was... Uh, friend of mine in university who was in the English program and she was taking um, modern modern literature and they had to read this particular um, graphic novel I'll call it just to just differentiate it between uh, like superheroes and things like that where I would call those comic books So all of us were in a room hanging out one night, and I just saw them, and I started reading them, and I think I sat down and read cover to cover both of them. Now, in my mind, that's the romantic idea of what happened. Maybe it was more than one sitting, but these things just grab my attention. That's going to be my number one, but let's start with number three. This is uh, really popular these days with the TV show and everything, but uh, number three is The Walking Dead series. Um... Very good character development. Uh, it is, to me, getting a little repetitious um, in the formula. But I still read them. I don't buy them. I got this one from the library. Number two is uh, a famous, as famous as graphic novels can be in Canada. It's uh, Louis Riel, a comic strip biography by Chester Brown. Uh, Riel was a Métis leader. Métis is like a mixture of French Canadian and, and First Nations people uh, in uh, around Winnipeg in the Manitoba area. In the late 1800s, they uh, they were trying to set up their own government, a provisional government out there, and uh, all the intrigue and uh, violence that occurs. That goes along with that sort of thing. I really like the uh, art in this one. It's sort of like a Tintin tin or Orphan Annie type style. I don't know if you can catch that. But the story is really interesting, even for non-Canadians. And uh, it's really well done. So that's my next one. Now this one, like I said, <clears throat> when I, I read a book called... Uh, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius. Um, I don't think the title was suitable for that book, but for this, it was. I would call these books a heartbreaking work of staggering genius, and it is Mouse by Art Spiegelman. This amazing story um, chronicles the author's father, his uh, time in World War Two, just everything he goes. Through through. It's so uh, it's epic. It's uh, heartbreaking. It's uh, uh, inspiring. It's just an amazing story, an amazing read, an amazing work of art, basically. The uh, Jewish people are depicted as mice. The Germans are rat, or sorry, cats. The uh, 
think Polish people are pigs, uh, the Americans are dogs. So you can just see the fine work. I don't know, I'm not doing a very good job of selling this, but every time I read this, I have to read it from cover to cover. It's just, it's just an amazing book. Uh, highly, highly recommended. This is the second book where he spends his time in Auschwitz. Uh, not too much of a spoiler, but uh, if you want to delve into the graphic novel area, this is the book. The, these are the books to get. So, uh, like I said, the purpose of Media Minutes is to share media. So, uh, share your favorite graphic novels if you're a graphic novel reader. And I try and do it in under five minutes. So it looked like I went a little long, but uh, that's it for now. I hope you're all doing well, even with this crappy weather. And keep her between the ditches. Talk to you later. Bye.